what should I be doing to help my team perform, okay? There's the obvious things. We have to drive for your business metrics, your goals and objectives, all of that thing. But who on my team needs um, uh, extra help? Who on my team needs to be unleashed? Who on my team can help others grow and develop? And also, as what, what we're dealing with, of course, during the pandemic, was that sense of dislocation. We were cut off from our place of work, from our families at times, our extended families, certainly, our friends, our colleagues. We were in this lockdown state. And so there was this, what's, what's, the, what's the point of all this? And it was dark, dark days. And so um, I'm gonna play a little piece here. And I want you to just reflect for a moment as I play. How were you feeling a year or so ago? What were, you, what were the emotions you were feeling? And write them down or put them in the chat if you so choose. So what were the, the feelings of um, uh, dislocation? And, and I'll do a little piece here. The three doable habits are uh, be seen, be heard, be there. So it gets us to our last step, which is be there. That's the all encompassing thing, Chester. It's do what you have to do to energize, to enrich the organization. And so often, and this is you teach this also, don't wait to be asked. As a leader, leaders should be interveners in a, in a, to change things better. I don't mean to intervene in people's lives without permission, but see something, make something happen. And that's what it means to, and, and the other part of be there is, um, you know, metaphorically speaking, if you're going to ask people work on weekends, you work weekends. So we're all in this together. The leader, I believe, uh, leads from the front. So be there. Moxie is a term that's the guts and gumption. We hear it a lot in, in movies. And I turned it into an acronym which is a sense of mindfulness. Are we being in the moment when we need to be in the moment? Are we situationally aware for ourselves and for our organizations? Are we looking for opportunity? Oh, do we have the courage, the guts, the X factors, the resilience to persevere? Are we innovative? Are we thinking creatively? Are we challenging others to think creatively? And are we engaging? E, engagement. Are we connecting with others? So moxie becomes this con concept of bringing people together. And where purpose is organizationally focused, moxie is more what the leader needs to do to deliver on that purposeful equation. Hi, John Baldoni here. Meet my little friend, Froggy. Actually, he's not so much my friend. He's my two-year-old grandson, Tripp's friend. And my wife endlessly entertains him via FaceTime with little characters like Froggy and many, many others. And the wonderful thing about being two years old is you really don't distinguish between video presence and actual presence. And I think as we come up on the one-year anniversary of our COVID lockdowns, it's good to remember that while we can't always be physically present, we can be present with those we love and those with whom we work. There's no substitute for face-to-face, -face, but we have navigated this past year, and it looks like sooner than later, we'll all be back together uh, again, and that's a good thing. But we have endured a lot, and we should take pride in our endurance and our resilience. That's it for now. Till next time. Thanks for watching. What is our organizational mission? What is it that we do? And how does my team, be it purchasing, marketing, sales, logistics, whatever it is, how do we fulfill that mission? Okay, Think on that. And then the most important thing is what's our values? The values are our collective beliefs. Hi, my name is John Baldoni, and I'm an executive coach, leadership educator, and author of 15 books on management and leadership. 
I've spent my entire career studying how best to lead and inspire those around me so that teams and organizations can function at the top of their game. I've got a passion for illuminating the path forward by removing unnecessary obstacles, misconceptions, and ideas about dealing with pressured situations. I try to dispel the common misconceptions about leadership and do more than just say a few buzzwords. I've had the pleasure of working with some of the world's top global companies. My methods are proven.